why is it important that we don't remain silent and that we have these conversations with our kids? So parents often don't know what to say. So instead they opt to remain silent. But I truly believe it's a mistake to stay silent because silence for our kids, in front of our kids, really only fuels fear and anxiety. There are ways to talk to our kids in an age appropriate way and we should. Silence is no longer an option, Laura. So whether you're talking to your three-year-old or your 13-year-old, you must have those conversations. And a good place to start for our younger kids is to say something basic, keep it to basic facts like um, some people are treated differently because the color, because of the color of their skin. But not all people treat others cruelly or meanly because of the color of their skin. Let them know that there are good people out there as well. And then for your teens, social media is a great starting point to see how they're feeling and to check in with them. Mm -hmm. And our kids look to us as- Silence is no longer an option. Absolutely. And our kids look to us as, as role models, right, Erica? So how can we set the example on diversity and inclusiveness? So we want to be setting the example. A good thing is to check in with your own entourage and your own surroundings. Take a look at your mommy and me groups. You know, take a look at your playdates and your get-togethers. See how diverse they are. And encourage diversity in your children. So volunteering opportunities, if they're they're not playing with children of other races, religions, ethnicity, see how you can open your doors, broaden your horizons, and, and volunteer. Give them opportunities to meet other kids. And really important here, Laura, to remind your kids Because to me, this is all about raising inclusive and tolerant children. To me, it starts with us. I hope the cycle will end with us. But to me, it's to remind our kids that you're not better than anyone else, that no one is better than anyone else, that we're all equal. We are all the same. Really important here not to be raising entitled children. If if we can take away anything, I hope it's that. We've spoken, you know, before, Erica, about teaching our, our kids to be confident enough to stand up in the face of bullying, for example. And now it rings very true now that they need to be confident to speak up in the face of inequality. Right. Yeah, they, they need to stand side by side with their friends and with their peers. And if they see someone is being left out or someone's being hurt, we have to teach them to stand up, that it's the right thing that they can't be silent. If someone's left out of a birthday party, they have to speak up. They have to stand side by side with their peers. There's no other option. And the challenge, Eric, and I think, you know, this happens, you know, what a lot of things in in life in general is that we talk so much about it and then, you know, we forget to check back in maybe in two months from now. So we have to keep this conversation going. And my black friends have explained that to me, that it's all, you know, it's the front news now, what's going to happen in two months from now. So I think it's really important to keep the momentum of the black movement going by checking in with our kids in six weeks to see the progress we're making. And then six weeks after that, and then six weeks after that, it's really, really important. And our kids, you know, are not in school or not in camp. So really important. Who are they bike riding with? See if they can encourage them to really um, reach out to other kids different kids of their own color and keep the conversation going. You know, I I feel like um, even myself as a parenting contributor, we don't have all the answers, but I think it's to lead with love and an open heart and um, to remember that we're, we're really all, we're one people and to open and to lead with love. That's really the only way that I, that I know how to express my, my heart is, is really hurting Laura. My heart's hurting for my, for my friends. Sorry. It's, it's a hard segment because it is. I have diverse friends and I love all my friends and it's, it's a hard time and, and it's, it's a sensitive time. It is a sensitive time, Erica, and you know, it, 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 and it's okay to be vulnerable and, and to say it. And we appreciate yeah. you and, I, and you know, we watch you, we're, we're seeing you on social media and I know that you don't just, you know, talk to talk, you walk the walk.